Hey guys, did you know that vinegar can be used for a lot more than just cooking? Today I'm going to show you a few other uses for vinegar, some that will make your life easier and others that are just for fun. For this one, we're going to use vinegar and baking soda to make sodium acetate. We can use baking soda, or sodium bicarbonate, and vinegar, which contains acetic acid, to make the sodium acetate. When these two compounds react, they will form sodium acetate. There's a little chemistry lesson for you. Okay, so why do we want this? Well, sodium acetate, or hot ice, will turn solid and rise to over 100 degrees. This makes it very useful for hand warmers, or just a fun thing to play with. Grab your baking soda and vinegar, and put 4 cups of vinegar in a pot. Then measure out 4 tablespoons of baking soda, turn on the stove, and slowly add in the baking soda. I made the mistake of adding the baking soda all at once, and my batch didn't turn out great. Once it's all added, turn down the stove a little, and wait till all the water has been boiled off. This should take about 30 to 60 minutes. When you see a crust start to appear on the side of the pan, pour out the liquid into a container. It should have a yellowish tint to it. When you drop a piece of crust from the pot into the hot ice, it should react and turn solid like this. If your hot ice doesn't work at first, just add some more vinegar and boil it down again. Once you have working hot ice, just put it in a plastic bag and you're good. To reuse it, just microwave it until it melts. Check out the link in the description to learn more about hot ice. Vinegar can also be used as a cleaner. Grab a spray bottle and fill it about a third full of vinegar. Then the rest of the weight with water. Add a few drops of soap and you have a great all-purpose cleaner. As you see this mirror is smudged, but after using the vinegar blend, it becomes clean again. Vinegar can also be used to unclog a drain. Just so you guys know, my sink is actually clogged, but I added some dye for effect. Just pour in about a half cup of baking soda, and then a cup of vinegar into your drain. After it's reacted, wash it out with some hot water, and the drain will be clog free. If you have any places in your house that smell like a trash can or a bathroom, vinegar can fix that too. Just grab a sponge or a slice of bread and soak it with vinegar and leave it overnight. The smell should be gone by the morning. If you want to get wrinkles out of a shirt fast but don't want to iron it, vinegar can come to the rescue. Just grab that cleaner that had one part vinegar and three parts water, but this time don't add any soap, and spray it on your shirt. The wrinkles should come out in a few minutes. Lastly, as you all know, vinegar and baking soda reacts with each other and gives off CO2. We can use this to make a vinegar and baking soda rocket. Just grab a soda bottle, some vinegar, some baking soda, some toilet paper, and a cork. Also some hot glue and, in my case, aluminum dowels, but anything long and straight will work. I also decided to decorate my rocket. Just glue the dowels around the bottle like this. Then get a spoonful of baking soda and wrap it up in toilet paper, like this. Then pour a cup of vinegar into the bottle. Now fit the baking soda pouch into the bottle and put the cork in it like this. I just wrapped a balloon around it to make it fit better and to give it a better look. To launch it, just flip over the bottle, shake it and set it down. Blast off. Well, I hope you enjoyed these vinegar tips and tricks. If you did, don't forget to click the subscribe button be notified when I upload my next video. Also, like me on Facebook and Instagram to get notified there as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.